Colton's actually videoing this. This is uh, the seventh continent full hit. Every man and his dog has done a video on this, so we're just going to do this for uh, my YouTube channel. Because I think Paul's got everything, haven't you, Paul, for this game? I think so. So first of all, we're presented with some sort of book. It's got nice, the seventh continent art, seventh continent artwork on there. And this must be for, is it for save games or notes? I think it's just a notebook, isn't it? There we go, every sheet's the same. It's quite neat, spiral bound book. And we have a little box here called Facing the Elements. We've got one here saying Bone Dice and Dice Bag. So the Dice Bag must be quite tiny if it's in there. Uh, we've got Path, Path of Repentance. We've got Fear the Devourers. There's more yes. We've also got three packs in this bit. Oh, it's quite a lot of stuff. We've got the Icy Maze. We've got Swamp of Madness. I'm quite heavy these, quite a lot of cards in them I guess. And uh, the Forbidden Sanctuary. Is that, is that it now? Is that in the main box? Yes it is. And the main box is very heavy. Very nice artwork of it. Let's open it up. Uh, it's got a nice uh, sheen finish on with an embossing. Quality box. There's a little note from the uh, designers there. The rule book, which I looked at a PDF, it's only I think 20 pages long. So we're going to try and get this to the table today. That's 24 pages here. It was 20, but it was a draft rules on the site. We've got a little punch board. Cheat sheets for the players. So it must be four players. Up to four players. A punch board here. like a little card holder or something. It's got the little guy there, hasn't it? And then if we look in here, tons and tons of cards. Some foam there, I guess that's for expansions, or you could use that if, you, if somebody's going to be mad enough to sleeve the cards. We've got plastic uh, standees, see-through ones, good, good, good ones then. Got some tiny little D6 dice here, but they're quite nice, quite square edge little black dice. And then literally masses of card decks. Well, the replayability of this game must be massive, or the adventure, I should say. Come on. Uh, there's a magnifying glass here. Pretty neat touch. I suppose that goes straight on the top of the cards to magnify for people. Um, and then it's card dividers here, which would be neat to sort it all out. Plenty of them. Uh, one for banished cards here. There's a save system in this game, isn't there? And that's good, these actually pull out themselves. So, we forgot, thought it was a bit of packaging at the end, spotted by Paul here. That's just a piece of uh, fill filler. There's some tiny little miniatures here, and they are small. There we go. Let's have a look and get in here. Oh, I see, it's taped on the edge. That's it. They're very small. Uh, they're okay. Not the best miniatures I've seen by a long shot. But, yeah. Reasonably enough of diff different ones painted up, they definitely need painting, or, you, or because they're so small, they'd be hard sometimes, I guess, to see which is which. But they're not bad, they're not overly detailed, but I guess painting they'll do the job. Uh, so that's it, that's the Seven Continent Kickstarter Edition. All the bits, lots of. And we them. forgot the dice, 
let's have a look. It's a bit light. This is don't bone dice and a bag. Uh, I'm not hoping out for much in this because it's light and it's small. So I don't know about the bag. Come on. There we go. So let's see what's in here. Hopefully we'll be uh, surprised. Well, the bag actually. That's quite nice actually. It's proper cotton. Um, it's quite a nice uh, bag that. And the dice, let's have a look. Actually surprised. The dice are really nice, aren't they? Yeah, quite a lot. Got a good quack to them. Hard plastic. Uh, I guess they're quite easy to see which is which. There's a five there. There's a six. On the other side should be a one. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Two. So there should be a five on the other side. And uh, yeah. Quite easy, yeah. They're quite nice dice, then, aren't they? Yeah. So that is that is definitely the lot. Without going into all the different uh, open up the cards, which we won't want to do for spoilers anyway. So I like spent stuff there. all how long? About half an hour, forty minutes. Yeah. Probably sorting this out, but it does actually fit in the box. The lid hasn't closed completely, as you can see. It's about a centimeter up, but it it's not going to take too too much shelf space. It's packed full. It's really heavy. Not needed the sponges, they were just there for the thing. One thing worked out is all them little extra boxes actually integrate into the base game in sequentially into the numbers. They don't add on, they, they actually go in between and it was a right fiddle. And to be honest, it was a bit boring doing it. We were pulling our air off in the end. Well, Paul hasn't got any air, have you? But if he did have some air, he'd be pulling it off. And um, this uh, little... Um, it's where cards are going to go. I think it says discard pile there. That'll go flat into here. So we've managed to get it all in. It looks quite good with the dividers and everything. Uh, in one of the expansion box things, there was these figures as well. All this stuff. There's not too much stuff here really to paint up, so it really needs painting up, I think. And also there was these, which are fitting in one of the boxes, these weather systems that go on standees, um, of which there are here. These ones like stands, clear stands. So it's all quite neat. And there's those are bits punched out for the standees. But everything fits in this base box. And uh, they go into the nice um, divider trays, which come out like that. And if you, I was just saying, if, if you ever drop one of these on the floor, you may as well just go out and buy a shredder and shred it and be done with it. So um, anyway, oh, and Donna pointed out but she's seen that emblem or something very similar to that and I, I was thinking I've seen I, I couldn't quite put it place it and it is Splatter's The Great Zimbabwe if you look the uh, see the emblem for for The Great Zimbabwe is pretty similar isn't it I know it's not the same but it's got that similar feel to it so uh, it's a good spot by Donna so that is seven continents all boxed up and painfully sorted so we've just got to um, just got to play it now, yeah. So I'm going to read through the rules and set it up. There we go. Thanks for watching.